I was born in Campinas, which is a city close to Sao Paulo. I had a nice kind of childhood, went to a German school, so I already started to interact with other cultures from an early age. The artistic side came, I think, through my grandmother. She really liked drawing, and I was drawing as much as I could. But the jewelry didn't come into my life until later on. I was in product design school, I was studying product design. I developed a lot the hand drawing, and I started to look for something where I could use those skills. Coincidentally, the first time uh, I applied for a job, it was in a jewelry manufacturing company. So from the initial drawing, I was responsible to create the three-dimensional aspect of that idea. And then seeing that transformed into precious metals, that was it. There was a passion that sparked in that moment. Through these years, I learned a lot about the practical side of jewelry, about the making, about the materials. And there was a point in my life, I was about to turn 30, and there was something missing, a challenge. With all this experience, with all this practical experience, with a career, I already started, but not really sure where I wanted to go from there. I looked around for some universities, and I thought London would be the best place for this almost rebellious state that I was finding myself. London had this energy and had this mix of cultures, living together, you deal with people through the few informations you have about where they come from, so the stereotypes play a big role. And that made me more Brazilian than I ever felt. I found some answers to where I could go with my jewelry, how I could bring my country with me wherever I was. I thought it would be the best way to take this work forward, to bring this to Brazil and get it made by Brazilian craftsmen with Brazilian materials and bring it out to an international platform, to an international context that I find in London. I had all these elements in my first few collections that were all about Brazil. That very drippy, sexy, soft. After a while, I felt the desire to experiment and push it a little bit more. I wanted to represent London with a vibrant, young, rock and roll thing. It was basically using the same construction, but release the curves and let it spread. Brazil is still home for me, but I think I'm creating a, a movement that feels like home. It's coming to Brazil, going to London. I have a strong connection with Brazil. I, in a way, I'm still there. My name is Fernando Jorge. I'm a jewelry designer. I was born in Brazil and made in London. <laughs>